he is he he says he's been wearing a bald head for 10 plus years is it even possible to get your hair fully back after being bald for 10 plus years um if he has it, it really depends. It depends on the type of hair loss. So if he had like George Jefferson kind of hair pattern, uh, hair loss, which is like your classic male pattern hair loss. Um, if he has follicles that are salvageable, he could have um, transplant, hair transplant done, which I do not do. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, <laughs> There's, um, there's a great treatment out that's available called PRP, which is platelet rich plasma. Mm -hmm. That's mm -hmm. great for, um, for hair loss. You could, you know, take oral medications or use topical medications, um, that would kind of change your, your hormonal, um, would change your testosterone to help enhance hair growth as well. But that doesn't come without side effects sometimes. So, um, it really just depends on what what initial or what organic type of hair loss he uh, he has or he has. Got it. So that would be he has to go see someone, and then from there you're able to diagnose. Okay, which direction we need to go? Is this permanent or is this something that we you can recover from with whatever treatments that you guys exactly. are together? Well, why would you go back if you've been bald for ten years? I'm sure you could. I said. I mean, you know, some people, you know, they, hey, uh, this, you know what? A lot of guys, right? A lot of guys, when you go into, and you know that you, you, you're, you're fully aware of this, is that um, there's a lot of misnomers. And as, as we advance, right, when we have, we get more information and, you know, you, it, like you guys, you see technology has, has, has really been able to evolve, you know, your field, right? And a lot of guys, you know, they they like oh well because my 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 dad was bald then I'm gonna be bald and, mm -hmm. and 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 I'm a victim of my biology but we already know that you don't have to be a victim of your biology with all the, the new technology and information that we know about the human biology mm -hmm. and a lot of guys especially in our in the black community we have no idea about we just kind of just we just say okay well my dad was bald and that's what it is but we that's don't true. know it can be due to your diet, right? It, you can turn on, turn off genes, like, or, you know, epigenetics, or it can be stress related, or it can be, you know what I mean? Like there's a litany of, of different triggers and we don't yeah. know. Yeah. We just be like, all right, man, it is what it is. And yeah, I'm like, okay, I'm gonna just go ahead and shave. Exactly. But then once, once we get a glimmer of hope and somebody's here to say, hey, that's not the case. Like if we're not victims, everybody's situation is gonna be different. It's gonna be unique. But it's best to go see your dermatologist and go, it's best to go see someone so that way you can, to your point you had mentioned earlier, get in front of it as early as possible um, with any ish, health issue. Uh, so that so that's something that a lot of guys in our community, they just don't know. They have no idea. And, and when you don't know, um, then you find yourself, you know, down the road. Then like, oh, wow, I could have went to my dermatologist and got this check. I didn't even know. Or they didn't even know you can go to a dermatologist and talk about these type of like hair loss mm -hmm. or, you know, just certain things. You What you don't know is what you don't know. So That's I'm true. glad that you're so you're here on the show because now they know. 